Hello and welcome to Game Boy Classics. In this installment, the game is Lock and Chase, released by Data East in 1990. This game is yet another Pac-Man clone, but this game is one fantastic fit for the Game Boy. If you have a Game Boy or a Game Boy Color or a Game Boy Advance or a Super Game Boy or a Game Boy Player, um, anything that says Game Boy in the name, uh, except for the Game Boy Micro, um, you owe it to yourself to buy this game because this game is really, really cool. It's also available on 3DS eShop, so you can buy it, you know, there digitally if that's your thing. Um, but me, I love the physical cartridges, so let's play some Lock and Chase. So you play as a bank robber. And what do you have to do? You have to go around and collect, um, dots and avoid the police officer. So it's pretty much exactly like Pac-Man, except that, you know, occasionally gems come in the middle and they make you invincible and you can knock out the guard. Just kinda like Pac-Man. Just like the power pill. Um, but I like to use this um, particular color scheme because it makes the little dots look like they're, like, I don't know, dollars, Canadian dollars. So take that, Americans. Um, <laughs> or I guess gold coins or something, I don't know. Canadian dollars just sounds better to me. You have to be kind of on your toes here. You gotta watch out and make sure you don't get uh, cornered by... If you pick up the, uh, the cash bag, it makes all of the cops stop in their place so you can go and uh, get captured. <laughs> so you can go and continue on. Um, but that was just a bad example and wasn't playing that great there. Now one thing is about the movement is that it's a bit kind of unresponsive and it's sort of in a way where you move automatically. You, it's like you have to complete your animation cycle. You can't move until, um, I don't know, you do a 1-2 animation. So if I try and move, in, like, in the one animation... Bam! Lock and Chase is a very simple game, but it's a whole lot of fun. It's just the marking of, of a game that you can just throw in and play, you know, for a couple minutes and that's it. And, you know, for a Game Boy game, that's often all I'm looking for. It's just a game that I can play, you know, very quickly, that I don't have to uh, dwell on. Darn it. I died. Or I guess I got captured. I guess there's no dying in this game. There is some strategy that is different, such as the fact that the gems only appear um, for a limited period of time, and the cash bags, um also only appear as for a limited period of time, so you can't just strategically take everything but the power pills like you can in Pac-Man. So there's game over. Alright, so let's try that again. But, how about this? We can continue. So I can start from stage 1-3 again, I don't have to start from stage 1-1. One, one. Convenience. Admittingly, a lot of the times when I, you know, fail at this game, it's because I'm trying to do things that would work in Pac-Man, and they don't quite work here, because, you know, this is not Pac-Man. This is very Pac-Man-like, but it's not Pac-Man. It's Lock and Chase, which is its own thing. I don't know why I didn't... Oh, I guess you can't have two power-ups at the same time. You can't, uh... You can't have the Invincible and, uh... Darn it. <laughs> you can't be invincible and grab the cash bag. Alright, try that again. I 
I picked up Rocket Chase a few weeks ago, um, but I hadn't played this game when I was a kid. This was this is nothing new to me. If I remember right, I believe that Lock and Chase was an arcade game because I somewhat have fuzzy memories of playing this game. I, I could be imagining that. I don't know. It's very similar to Pac-Man, so maybe I played like some sort of crazy version of Pac-Man instead. So I gotta be careful here. So I. If I picked up the cash bag before, it would have been useless, but I was too late to pick it up, so it was useless. But there is a big, there it is again, so... Now I can go this way. Do I think that Lock and Chase is better than Pac-Man? Uh, No, not really. It's... It's very close, but I wouldn't say it's better than Pac-Man. I'd say it's an alternative to Pac-Man, and probably one of the better of the Pac-Man clones that are out there. So, and it's kind of nice that you're playing as a villain here. I guess nice because, you know, it's not typically seen in, in these kind of big games. So, the bonus game. The bonus game is a slot machine. And... I've always been dreadful at slot machines. Yeah. Flashbacks to Super Mario Bros. 2 all over again, you know, just failing endlessly. So this world um, introduces uh, a new element, which are these doors that open up. You can open the doors, but the cops can't. So, you, so it's sometimes advantageous to, to open the doors, and sometimes it's not. I knew that was going to happen. Now, I'm playing this on a TV, of course, but, you know, on the original Game Boy screen, you know, with its monochrome, you know, really, really fuzzy visuals, this game um, also has the benefit of being very easy to see. It's very easy to make out what you're doing, even on the super tiny, you know, monochrome, um, non-backlit screen. So, even if you have an original Game Boy, the, you know, the DMG, um, 1989 Game Boy, this game is still very playable on that thing. And that's very rare for, um, a Game Boy game, you know, to be, you know, playable on any Game Boy that you can throw at it. There's a lot of games that, you know, sort of... Hey, they're not so playable on that original Game Boy. I mean, they are, but, you know, you're not... You wouldn't pre prefer to play them on that. Put it that way. Lock and Chase, though, is eh, it's completely fine. If you have an original Game Boy and you want to fire up Lock and Chase, perfect game for it. like in Pac-Man. See, what I want to try and do is I want to lure the guards to come in here. Ah, dang. 
Dang it. I'll give this one more, one more continue. charming about this game. Bam! Bam! Hey, I won. But I don't really know what I won. Darn. Okay, that's a one-up. Wait, don't I want it? Ah, whatever. guards real small by picking up the Mario coin block. So you can shrink one enemy which inflates the other one. And you can pass them over. Block and Chase has some cool ideas to it. Unfortunately, because it's a traditional Game Boy game, um, once you hit the reset button, the whole thing, you know, turns into, uh, 
you know, that, that same kind of thing that you, you that you normally expect for a Game Boy game. Whereas, uh, you hit the reset button and all your save data goes away. There's no, um, battery save here. It was 1990. Ah, dang it. Alright, well there's game over. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions about this game, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please click the like button because that helps me out. You know, shares it with other people, tells me that you like the video, uh, make more of the same kind of thing. That sort of thing. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.